happening? What's happening? Uh, so, spent about an hour and a half a day after work um, getting it more semi-assembled, uh, testing other sub-assemblies before putting the hood and the gas tank and everything else on. Uh, as you see over here, got the alternator hooked up. The bracketry for the alternator was all bent and screwed up, so that took, just like everything pretty much on this tractor, everything took way longer than it should because it was not assembled with much care before. So it's on there, the belt's on and tightened up. It's charging now, which is good, and I don't have to have the battery charger hooked up. Uh, and then uh, I didn't want to put on the whole front assembly just to put the... Um, radiator in, so uh, we hook it up like this. And then it started getting a little warm, so uh, it. And uh, got some gas. Oh, and the other thing I did, I fixed the exhaust, so it should be a little quieter today than it was yesterday. I'm going to keep a, an eye on the heat. Got a little fuel there. Oh, and she's not starting with uh, two batteries now, it just takes one. Pretty much fires right up. There's a little bit of a mess. about 150 at the head, 130 top hose, 90 bottom hose. It has a new water pump, so it's definitely flowing pretty well. Um, over here, still keeping really good oil pressure. That's at idle. I mean, it's a high idle, but it's about 35 to 40. Charging system is working fine. You're not going to see much charge right now because there's no need for it. The battery's full. And uh, yeah, the exhaust got a little bit of a leak, but it, it sounds all right. It actually sounds pretty good. Uh -oh. about 150 there. Pretty cool coming out of there. Radiator seems pretty even. And look down here. See the smoke? It's definitely got some issues. And that's one thing the guy warned me about. He said it does smoke when you start it up. So that's alright. Actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> 